Hey guys, Travis here, and today I want to talk about um, the uh, season finale of Dark Side of the Ring Season 2, which of course was the Owen Hart story. Um, you know, it's one of those things where, um, <laughs> just like 9-11 and everything else, you, you knew exactly where you were the day you found out the information of how Owen died. Uh, there had been like only one documentary about Owen that I remember, well two that I remember but they didn't go into such great depth as this like exactly what exactly happened I think they should have done at least a two part episode like they did the Benoit one to get more information into the situation but they definitely went into um, into death with this one and after listening to Martha Hart I can finally understand why she did not want Owen to go into the Hall of Fame and I can truly understand and respect that now uh I remember that weekend like it was yesterday. I was only 10 years old, but I remember like it was yesterday. Um, that Sunday, um, my mom was actually really sick and had to go into the hospital. Anyway, the next day we went to go visit her. And my mom said to me, she says, uh, you know Owen Hart? I said, yeah, I don't know. I, of course I know who Owen Hart is. I mean, of course, back in 1997, one of the happiest moments of my life, my mom took me to a house show in St. John's and I got to see a tag team match between Brett and Owen against Austin and Mick Foley. So obviously I watched Owen ever since I was like maybe like three or four years old so I knew exactly who he was. He said that uh, he died last night. What? What do you mean he died last night? He said he had an accident and he fell. I was like, oh, come on, it had to be, like, even even at 10 years old, I'm thinking, like, it's got to be a storyline, you know, it's just unbelievable how it happened. He's like, he's like well, what did they say happened? He said he fell from the ceiling. I said, he fell from the ceiling of an arena? I said, come on, that's, it had to be a dummy or something, and sure enough, that night, I watched Monday Night Raw, and sure enough, it was true, Holm was dead, and, um, you know, looking into it, really uh, affected me because, you know, I loved Owen, I loved Brett, I loved Davey Boy, I, you know, as a fan, just unbelievable. And, um, you know, ta listening to people talk about Owen and what kind of person he was, and he was just a phenomenal human being, phenomenal husband and father. And, um, you know, his kids have grown up to be good people. And um, I, the thing that gets me about this whole thing was how preventable it was, like how it shouldn't have happened in the first place. Sting used to do the same thing where he would be like come down from the ceiling on a harness and then he would land and then the thing was WWE was trying to, to mimic that. And um, of course, you know, Sting said years later that he felt bad about it, that, you know, if you say that he wish he never would have started it, then way WWE never would have had the uh, initiative to do it themselves. But the thing was, uh, Owen, that day, it said in the documentary, Owen was very uh, nervous about doing it. Obviously, he didn't like heights. But uh, apparently there was a new, like he had done this about two or three times before, and the rigging was perfect. Nothing went wrong. But apparently, uh, this was a new rigging and a new clip that they used to hold Owen. Now, Martha Hart sees that shows this in the documentary, and it's something like, um, there, I'll see if I can show it to you on the screen. And it's that little thing right there that she's holding in her hand. That clip was not meant to hold a, a person. That clip was a clip, a little clip that is meant for sailboats. It was neglect and from the people who had them hooked up. This thing only needed, to, this was cheap. They did this because it was cheaper to do. It was more expensive to do, like a few dollars more to, to hook one up properly. But they did this. They used this little clip. It took six pounds of pressure to let the clip go. Owen was 250 pounds. It just aghasts me how something like that could have happened. And seeing this little clip, I was shocked to think that something like that could hold, was supposed to hold a 240-odd pound man 90 feet in the air. He fell more than 50 feet. 
and he almost hit the referee. And the thing was, his last thing he yelled out was look out to the referee because he knew if he was falling, he was in a position where he was supposed to land in the corner of the ring. And the referee was kicking, Jimmy Corderas was kicking out debris out of the ring. And next thing you know, he says, I thought I heard somebody yell. And then I felt something brush up against my head and on my shoulder. And the ring rope just went boom. And he's thinking, what the hell was that? He turns around, there's Owen dead. He almost hit him. And Owen was concerned. He knew he was fucked. He knew he was dead on the, on the drop. He was looking at the referee and screaming to him to get out of the way because I don't want to land on you. Two people could have been killed then. And they showed a police photo of where he was hanging. And my God, it just... He was... Oh, he landed, number one, at, like... I've heard people say, you know, if he landed like right in the middle of the ring, maybe he would have had a chance. Maybe he did. I don't know. But he landed in the hardest part of the ring. He bounced off the ring rope chest first and he and he just landed back. And the thing was where he showed where the ring was, he was like if he would have had. Oh, man, I'm looking at this now and I'm thinking, God, if we if, if he only knew he was right next to the um, to the light like the, the, the rails that they hold the lights up above the ring. And I'm only thinking, my God, if he just would have, if he had any recollection whatsoever that this thing was going to snap open, he was inches away that he could have grabbed on and saved himself. But he didn't know. He had, he had full confidence in the people that was holding him up. And then all of a sudden, click, and he falls 50, 50 to 90 feet to his death. If he would have had any thought whatsoever, if he like a heard of like a click, 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 he's like, oh shit, something's happening. Maybe he could have grabbed on, but maybe, you know, somebody should have been there with him. I don't know if he was just only there for a second. I don't know. All we know is that this was criminal neglect at the worst. And what upsets me is that the Hart family, who were so unified before this, just divided after when Martha Hart was trying to sue Vince McMahon. Jeez, they lost a son and a brother. I mean, Christ, why would you not want to back her up? So, that's my two cents worth about this Owen Hart tragedy and about this episode. If you want to watch it, it's on YouTube right now. Get it there before the, before the website shuts it out. But to Owen, thanks from the bottom of my heart for the memories that you gave this great kid. And I only wish I could have met you before you died. But you're up there with Davey, Dinehart, your dad, your mom, your brother Dean, your nephew Matthew, who you love dearly, that for people have said that, you know, you looked after so much, paid for his funeral, and Pillman too. So Owen, thank you very much. And to Martha, Oge, and Athena, my love goes out to you guys as well. If you guys could see, if Owen could see you right now, which I'm sure he can, what kind of people you guys have turned into after this terrible tragedy? He'd be very, he'd be very proud. I'm Travis Walsh. That's the way it is.